Rich Seamer. I'm the design director at SMC. So this is the Kova Mountaineering Ice Axe. And this is you know, a traditional PLA. Uh, we're offering it in 60, 65, 70, and 75 centimeter lengths. We went with a bonded construction for the head and for the spike. And so it's much cleaner. It ends up being much stronger than, than the pin connections we used to use. We've got an all steel head, Kromali steel, that's covered by this plastic interconnect. This plastic is grill mid plastic. If, you know, if you're a ski mountaineer, you might know grill mid plastic from ski boots. It performs really well at low temperatures, and it's amazingly strong. And I was up uh, on Mount Baker this past weekend, and I placed 80 pickets in a row with, with one of our plastic heads, and, and the plastic gets beat up a little bit, but it doesn't break. So the, the head's not interchangeable, it's a fixed head. You know, we spent a lot of time trying to figure out a way to sculpt that head that it would have you know, a really comfortable grip. You can do kind of the split finger grip. So if you're doing a uh, self belay grip, it works. If you're doing self arrest grip, it works. There's also a little rib here kind of on the back that if you want to, you know, have your finger on that like that, it offers you a little bit more control. So there are a lot of different hand positions you can use. Really comfortable and it's, you know, with the plastic going all the way over the head, it's really going to keep your hand a lot warmer than if you're just hanging on to a piece of steel all the time. So the amount of testing and development that went into this whole project was uh, a lot of work, but we've had really good results with, with a lot of that testing. We actually ended up with a stronger product than, than we would have had if we'd done some conventional methods of assembly. The name Koba, that comes from Mount Baker. That's one of the Skagit words for Mount Baker. So the Skagit Indian tribe is just south of us. We wanted the ice axe to reflect our heritage about where we are, so we're right in the shadow of Mount Baker. When I drive out of my office at the end of the day, if it's not cloudy, I can see Mount Baker, and we wanted to pay homage to that. You know, we're a US-based company, and we manufacture all of this in the United States. So you know, the chromoly steel head is something that you know, we're getting the raw steel, and we're stamping it out in our own factory. We're getting it painted down the road. The injection mold plastic is from you know, 15 minutes away in Custer, Washington. Anodizing is happening uh, in Portland, Oregon, and so this is all, you know, this is really a Pacific Northwest axe. It's, you know, it's definitely a product of the Cascades.